Hi, my name is Dallin. I'm a third year medical student and today my friend who attends a top 10 medical school explains how he scored competitively enough on step one to match into neurosurgery. Now he did this by studying only for three months total with only a six week dedicated period. He in this interview goes into the resources that he used as well as the timeline of his study schedule. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into the interview. some uh, step one studying together and I know you scored well enough to, to get into neurosurgery where it's not not going to be an issue for you would you mind just uh, before we finish just just giving a quick uh, maybe two minute rundown on how you studied for step one and and things you did well and then maybe things you wish you would have done different yeah so you uh, world I feel like is is key and uh, if I had done it differently I really would have approached Zanke uh like aggressively and consistently from an earlier time because all the answers are in there it's so frustrating but they really are and um you kind of learn the material through zanke and then solidify it through you world and that's like a pretty strong combination you know um obviously going through uh what's it called first aid but all of first aid is in, in zanke and so I don't know what I what I did was I went through first aid and took detailed notes, and I kind of did Zanke off and on. I wish I'd done it more, and then I really aggressively pursued uh, U World, and that was very helpful as well. And then took the appropriate amount of of practice tests. I think I took like four or five or something like that. The two ones from U World, and then a couple of them Um And yeah, it went it went good. We I mean, should you uh, knock it out of the park, but I, I definitely scored, uh, you know, uh, in the average neurosurgery score. So that's all I care about. But I think uh, you know, if you have a, a strong handle on New World and on Zanke, which has first aid, etc., pathoma and all that crap, um, then you'd be you'd be set. So did you use, uh, so you talked about First Aid, Pathoma, Zanke, UWorld, NBMEs. Did you use any other resources? Uh, micro, or whatever it's called, Sketchy for sure, for uh, micro and farm. Some of the pathology as well that they have there is very helpful. Um, but I think the strongest is for micro. Yeah, no, I, I agreed. I, I didn't use it even for any of the uh, pathology. I thought it was too... It gets pretty convoluted. Yeah. Um, and then last question timeline when, it, when did you start studying how long was your dedicated that sort of stuff so I started studying um, I think I really started studying hard in like February um, and then I took the test May 3rd so I started hard in February and then started going through you know U World and and I did two passes of U World, I think, yeah, and then um, and then I had like four or five weeks of dedicated, um, but like my last couple months of class were pretty light, and so um, I'd say like probably six weeks of dedicated is is good. Okay. And then um, yeah, I took it May third. So you, so you only studied for about three months real hard. Yeah, yeah. And again, I think if I, if I had done it differently, I would have done Zanke for each block, each clinical block that I was in. Um, and uh, because it's way easier to keep up than to catch up in that sort of thing. And then um, reviewed that religiously with UWorld during my kind of pre, pre-dedicated time, like in February. Uh, March and then during April, late March, early April, and on, I would have, uh, you know, really hit the U World hard and, and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and that's how I would have done it if I could have done it over again. I wish, I mean, Zanke is like 20,000 cards or something insane. But Crazy. if you were to do from day one MSK, well, high school started with anatomy, but if I were to have done from day one MSK, it would only have been two or 3,000 cards. And, it, and over, a three or two month block that's actually not that many a day 
And like you said, right. when you when you go back to re, you're not learning it for the first time. You're reviewing it, yeah. which is way, way quicker. Um, yeah. And and you'll be able to understand the nuances of the questions much better because you're not trying to learn the actual concept. You're just trying to understand how MBME is going to ask it. Yeah, you're just like really strengthening the synapse at that point because all the connections have already been made, and it's all you can really blow through Anki real fast if you already have a good, you know baseline knowledge of everything so i'd say uh, learning through sketchy pathoma first aid and zenki the first time you know when you're in your clinicals and then just reviewing strengthening those synapses with reviewing your zenki cards and solidifying everything with your world questions and then doing your questions all right can't well i appreciate it if there's um if you had, if would you mind answering further questions? If people email me and uh, and I can get it to you. If anyone has questions about being a dad in med school or or a parent or getting into a top ten program, interviewing all that stuff, do you care if I forward those on to you? No, not all. Hundred percent. Always right. happy to help. All right, Kent. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and the uh, tips that Kent was able to give. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't, let me know in the comments below. If you like this format and if you like kind of like the interview style of me asking friends what they did to study for step one, uh, please go ahead and let me know as well in the comments below. And as always, feel free to email me at medicineformuggles at gmail.com.